Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix Hyper-V installation issue inside uh, Server 2016 uh, within VMware Workstation. So within VMware Workstation, when we try to install uh, Hyper-V role, so I am going into Server 2016 and I will try to install uh, Hyper-V role and it will throw an error message that it cannot install Hyper-V role. Um, now the reason is Hyper-V for having Hyper-V inside a server it requires the hypervisor uh, options to be enabled inside uh, even a physical server. On a physical server we do have to do uh, the same thing uh, but from the BIOS but in, in a virtual server this is how we fix it. So if I try to add Hyper-V role, so I'm in the role I've selected Hyper-V and it throws this error message. Now in order to fix this, we need to do a few things. First of all, uh, shut down this server. So I'm gonna shut, shut it down and power off. And then secondly, we need to go into, uh, we need to go into processor. So right here on processor, and we need to enable this option and this option. So two of these options and done and thirdly what we need to do I need to go into where the server is so I need to add three lines of code uh, so what I need to do so here this is the server so this is the server it is on my C drive so here on a tooltip it shows me it's in the C drive in virtual machine in your computer it will be in the C drive as well so we need to open Windows Explorer so we need to open Windows Explorer. We need to go into Documents and Virtual Machines. And this is the server. So I can match it with the server name, uh, which is this one. So my server name is CanopsTORSRV1. And I can match it to CanopsTORSRV1. We need to go into this and we need to basically uh, basically edit this file so the file with the three i the the three boxes so this is called a vmx file so you will be able to see this there are a few ways to find out this file uh so first of all this is this icon uh number two uh, right at uh it 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 should be written right here as well vmware configuration file so you can find the file and right click on the file and open with choose a default program and from here open this file with I don't see notepad we need to open it with a notepad and open it with a notepad so here and always don't and and uncheck this option and open it with the notepad as soon as you do it will open like this go at the end and press enter and we need to add few lines of code here so first of all the first line I need to add is is this and you can find many articles on this over the internet but I'm doing a video so that you can stop pause and follow uh, so I need to add these you can type them at the end you can type these three lines at the end or you can follow any link so I'm following this link here uh, it is on the internet say how to run Hyper-V nested in VMware workstation so the very first thing I did was uh, this going into the properties and second thing uh, what I did Second thing what I did was add these three lines of code on this file. So here, so you can type this or you can add it. You can copy, I just I copied it. Just make sure that you don't have any extra characters. It is just these three lines. You can type them and then you can close it, save it, and then go back to Hyper-V. So I'm going back to Hyper-V and then power on. Okay, so sometimes this happens as well. This is because there might be some uh, there might be some issue with the with the file. Maybe a space is added because that that file has to be exactly uh, that in this file everything has to be 
written in an exact format so let me see it is okay so the problem is when i copied the inverted commas are not proper as within the text file so i think this is not recognizing the inverted commas as you can see the shape these are simple and these are uh, a bit different shape so let's see that how it goes uh, so next save and let me start this now still there is an issue um, so again going back inside so again going back so within the same file uh, and within the same article it shows uh, the same error message right here it says it says dictionary problem and this problem might be due to that there is an entry that is being duplicated so VHV enabled so what we need to do is uh, I need to see if this same line is available anywhere else so I can see it's right here so what we need to do we need to just remove this so I'm removing this and make sure there are no spaces at the end and save and now I'm gonna try again and I'm trying again so this time the server is starting up so uh, as soon as the server starts up we can try to add the role again so it won't take much time now so this is how we can fix the Hyper-V installation issue inside VMware workstation and the reason is VMware workstation is already a hypervisor and we're trying to install another hypervisor inside uh, but you don't need to understand this at the moment well there's a full chapter on hyper v so and here let me log in now and So server is loading up. We can open server manager. Uh, actually right from here I can go to windows and open server manager. Add the role. So it's just taking this this is just saying the server manager is busy so to, 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 let's give a few minutes so right here next next and next now select type v role add feature And this time it is selected and now you will be able to install so this is how we can fix uh, the issue and here you can select this and allow server to receive just go with the defaults and select this option and next so in few minutes it, the Hyper-V role will be installed thank you for watching this video and I will see you in another video